Hello viewers, this is your tutorial on how to automate retweets on Twitter using Socinator. Aside from liking, retweeting is a great way to engage other users. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate and configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the Retweet tab because we want to retweet tweets. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to retweet a number of tweets within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for retweet activity. The first one is search query. As the name suggests, search query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted tweets to retweet. There are two important sections, query type and query. Query type defines how you want to search the user's tweets. Click the drop down button and you can see the several query types. Once you have selected your query type, enter the query either manually by typing in the query box over here. You may also import a CSVR text file by clicking this button. And when you're set, click Add Queries to the list and it will be added in our queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's enter foodies for example. Click Add. So this will target tweets containing this keyword and retweet them. For hashtags, let's use hashtag dogs. Click add. So this will target all the tweets containing this hashtag. For location tweets, the format is keyword, colon, city, colon, country, colon, distance. Let's say the keyword is games, colon, city is Tokyo, colon, country is Japan, colon, distance is 15, for example. Click add, and this will target tweets with these location specifications. Next is near my location. You can only use keywords here. Let's say dogs. Click add. So this will target the tweets containing that word from users near your location. Custom tweet lists. We need a specific tweet URL here. So let's say this one. Copy link and paste the link in the query box click add. So this will target this specific tweet. For someone's followers tweets, we need a specific username here. Say Elon Musk. Click add. This will target the tweets of Elon Musk's followers. For someone's following's tweets, still with Elon Musk, click add. So this will target the tweets of the users Elon Musk is following instead. For followers of someone's following's tweets, Elon Musk again, click add. So this will target the tweets of the followers of the users Elon Musk is following. For followers of someone's followers tweets, still with Elon Musk, click add. This time it will target the tweets of the followers of Elon Musk's followers. For liked users tweets, we need a specific tweet URL here. Let's use the same tweet from earlier, click add. So this will target the users tweets who like that tweet for commented users tweets same tweet url click add it will target the tweets of the users who commented on that tweet for retweeted users tweets same url click add it will target the tweets of the users who retweeted that tweet then commented tweets same url it will target the commented tweets to that specific URL. So the replies to that specific tweet. For Socinator Publisher Campaign, it depends on the campaigns you have created and published through Socinator. You may view them in the Social Publisher tab over here. For tweets liked by specific user, let's say Elon Musk, click Add. So <clears throat> it will target the tweets liked by Elon Musk. For specific user tweets, we need a specific username again, Elon Musk, click add. This will target Elon Musk's tweets. Finally, tweet scraper campaign will depend on the scraper campaigns you have created through Socinator using your Twitter account. You may view them in the reports tab over here. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button. On the right side of the query you want to remove, let's say keywords, click and it's gone. And that's it for the search query. Let's go to the next one. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should retweet tweets. 
We have already created a few activity speed configurations, which you can use, like slow, with an average daily activities of 22, 50 for medium, fast 75, or super fast 107. Click advanced settings to define your own speed settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each tweet is retweeted. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after retweeting the number of tweets you set and number of retweets per job. Number of retweets per job will allow you to specify the number of retweets per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of retweets per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max retweet per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep retweeting even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, let's say Monday. Provide a start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. And click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one. Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Twitter Retweet and click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Twitter Retweet. The next tool is Tweet Filter. This allows us to filter the tweets we want to retweet on Twitter. First, you may specify how old the tweets are let's say less than three days old. Next, you can specify the minimum and maximum number of retweets and favorites of the specific tweet you want to retweet. Then the following will allow you to skip specific tweets. Here we can skip tweets containing specific words. Let's say you don't want to retweet tweets containing politics or government, then type in this area and separate each word by a comma. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import a CSV or text file by clicking that button and choosing the right file must not contain, for example, and click open. When you're done, click save. You may also skip already retweeted tweets if you want to be the first one to retweet. You may also skip tweets with this symbol. So these are comments or replies or mentions. Then you may skip retweets, tweets with links, without links, and tweets that contain non-English characters if you want to target English tweets only. The next configuration category is after retweet action. This allows you to add actions after retweeting. So first, enable like comments after a post is retweeted. So you may like comments after the retweet. Specify the number of likes as well as the delay between each like. You may also retweet comments after the post is retweeted. So you can specify the number of retweets and the delay between each retweet. You may also upload comments after retweeting. So type the specific comments here. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. When you're done, click save. Specify the number of comments and the delay between each comment. You may also follow the tweet owner. If you haven't been following the tweet owner of the tweet you have retweeted, then you can follow him or her. You may also like tweets after retweeting the tweet. Next is other configurations where you can specify the maximum number of tweets to be retweeted per user. Let's say two. Finally, the last configuration category is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Twitter profiles you do not want the software to interact with. Software will not retweet blacklisted users' tweets when this box is checked. So this can be either a private blacklist which belongs to a specific Twitter account or a group blacklist which is shared between all the accounts you add. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start retweeting, scroll up and click the Save button. Success! Then click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating retweets on Twitter using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app, click the social drop down button and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's go to the poster tab and make sure retweet is selected on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter retweet. For search query, let's target specific user tweets of Elon Musk and click add. So this will target Elon Musk's tweets and retweet them. For job configuration and average daily activities of 22 should be okay. So let's select slow. 
for tweet filter let's skip tweets with a symbol and tweets with links let's also focus on english characters only so let's skip tweets that contain non-english characters after we tweet let's like the tweets other configurations up to you and let's skip blacklisted users when you're ready let's click the blue button to look account or accounts in this part, we can select multiple Twitter accounts since we only have one account right now. Let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box of the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our Twitter retweet campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.